Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. This is Minister Paul on uh, Thursday, 3-19-2015. This is uh, day four of five of me fasting and praying. I've been digging into this word. I've been praying without ceasing. I've been crucifying my flesh. And, and you know, I know it's so important to have faith. I know that the Lord's going to show up. You know, he, he showed up on the third and fourth day, not the first day or the second day. So if you're fasting, I want to encourage you to continue fasting. You know, just to give one example of the importance of fasting. Remember when the disciples came back and they said, uh, you know, Jesus, the, the, this demon wouldn't leave. And they, they wanted to know why. And he said, this type of demon only comes out through special prayer and fasting. So there you have it from the words of Jesus on the importance of fasting. Now, now let me uh, let me go. It's been placed upon my heart to to read this word. I mean, strongly on my heart. I'm just gonna uh, put this up first. Uh, the first epistle of Peter. Holy Spirit, let me start in prayer. Holy Spirit, open our eyes and open our ears. Lord Jesus, speak to us through your holy living word. It's a two-edged sword and it pierces down into our, our very soul. Lord Jesus, let us use this word as a sword in these last days. We feel your imminent return, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, let us be in right standing with you through your righteousness. Lord, cleanse our heart. Cleanse our mind. Lord Jesus, we just pray an awesome revelation and, and worship of your holy name, of who you are, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ. And then uh, watch this. It says, to the pilgrims of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, uh, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Uh, these, these are areas there. Elect, now watch this. This spoke to me so loud this morning. I'm going to read this and I want the Holy Spirit to reveal the true meaning of you. As soon as I read this, it brought to mind Revelation, or strike that, Romans 8, where he said, For whom he did foreknew, he also did predestinate. Now listen to this. Uh, I'll put a link to Romans 8 and a link to this. The elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. God the Father has foreknowledge of the elect. God called you, people can't uncall you. God knew you before you were born. He put his words in your mouth. Whew. In sanctification of the spirit for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. I can stop right there. Ephesians 1, 4 and Isaiah 52, 15. He says, grace to you and peace be multiplied. And I say that today. Grace, unmerited favor of God and the peace of Jesus Christ become multiplied in your life. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So God sent his son, John 3, 16, and Jesus Christ walked this earth and was obedient unto the cross. And that's our living hope. Now watch this in verse 4. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away. Reserved in heaven for you. Reserved in heaven for you. God foreknew you. That's why you're calling out to him. That's why your soul longs for him. That, that's why your spirit just cries out to him. That's why he's on your mind day and night. Because God foreknew you. He, he called you. And you have inherited heaven forever. Now listen. Verse 5. Who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. It's by uh, grace you are saved through faith. And the Holy Spirit is placed upon me so important. Uh, I was reading Hebrews 11 yesterday. The importance of faith and putting your faith behind this. 
But you are being kept right now, wherever you may be around this whole world, by the power of God. The word power in the Greek is dunamis. Look it up, please. Verse 6. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials or distressed. And that's James 1, 2 cross-reference. That the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. I don't know what you're going through, but I'm telling you, we need to just keep praise in Jesus Christ. Our faith is more beautiful to him than the finest gold. Heaven is lined with the, the with gold, the, the the Bible records. What he's looking for is faith. He said, when I return will, I return, will I find any faith in the earth? Now watch this. Whom having not seen, you love. See, that's faith. That's faith. You've never seen Jesus in, in the natural, but you believe anyway. Do you know that I want to applaud you for your faith and not put you down today? Though now you do not see him, Yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. In other words, you believe you're going to see him. You believe his word is true. You believe you're going to reign in heaven with him forever and reign on earth also. Oh, and you, because of salvation of what he did. Of this salvation, the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that would come to you. In other words, in the law and the prophets, in the Old Testament, especially Isaiah, he said a Savior is coming. Emmanuel, God with us, an anointed Messiah is going to come and bring salvation to the world. Hallelujah. Let's press on here. The spirit of Christ who was in them was indicating when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. We receive glory for Christ's suffering, given praise and praise and praise. To them it was revealed that, not to themselves, but to us, they were ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven things which angels desire to look into. This is hit me hard, saints. Verse 13. Therefore, gird up your loins of your mind, be sober and rest, your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not conforming yourself to the former lust, as in your ignorance. In other words, the born again new creature in Christ Jesus that God created you. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Cross-reference uh, 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1. Because it is written, be holy for I am holy. Sanctify yourself, thy word is true. And if you call on the Father who without partiality judges according to each one's works, conduct yourself throughout the time of your sojourning here in fear, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He indeed was, now watch, here we go again, foreordained. Watch this. Jesus Christ was foreordained. Read the book of Isaiah before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, you, or revealed. In other words, the Holy Spirit is revealing himself to this whole world right now, and it, it's prophecy that he was going to do this before the world was framed. God had a plan for us to get out of here. Who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead, and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Our faith, our faith and hope is in Christ alone. And he's coming again, saints. 22. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, capital S, in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with the pure heart. Let's start that today. Let's start a lo fervent love for other brothers and sisters in the Lord. Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. 
because all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of the grass. The grass withers and the flower falls away, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. You have received salvation through Christ Jesus. It was foreordained. You've been called. You've been chosen. God loves you. Let's come together in fervent, urgent prayer for each other. Let Lord Jesus like renew our minds and renew our hearts to stay focused on you. Strengthen us so we can fly like wings of eagles, Lord Jesus. Lord, if we need healing, heal us. If we need deliverance, deliver us. It, it is for this reason that the Son of God was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus Christ is at the door. He's coming again. He's looking for faith. He gave you faith. Activate it now. Activate it now in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. Separate yourself from the world, from darkness and evil, and cling to Jesus Christ. He knows everything that you're going through. He foreknew you. Shalom.